Okay, here's question eight from the properties of exponent, or I'm sorry, property of logarithms um, quiz. So the first thing we want to do is take all these coefficients out in front, and we're going to put them back as exponents here. Um, oops, too far. Um, as exponents for what the natural log is evaluating right there. So this will become natural log of x minus 2 raised to a 1 half minus the natural log of x to a power of 6. So you leave the sign there, you're just taking the number. Same thing here, so it'll be minus natural log of 4x minus 3 raised to the power of 4, and then we have plus the natural log of c. Okay, so then whenever you have a fractional exponent, you'll actually need to go ahead and write that as a square root. So this is going to be the natural log Sorry, let me clean that up. The natural log of the square root of x minus 2. And then, um, let's see, I'll rewrite everything. And then we're going to be ready to start kind of condensing this um, to a single natural log. So that's what we're trying to do here. And so depending on how comfortable you are, you could kind of do it all at uh, once or we can kind of take it piece by piece. And so I'll just go ahead and go at piece by piece. So right here, the subtraction is actually a quotient rule, which brings it together as the natural log of the square root of x minus 2 um, divided by x to the power of 6. Okay. And so the same thing is going to happen here when I subtract that, oops, 4x, 4x minus 3, power of 4, plus the natural log of c. All right, and so since I'm subtracting again, that part is going to go in the denominator spot right there next to the x to the power of 6. So this will become the natural log of the square root of x minus 2 all over x to the power of 6 times, I'll put that in parentheses, 4x minus 3. And then we still have plus the natural log of c. And so then now when you have addition going on, that actually is going to go up with the numerator, that c value right there. So we're going to end up with the natural log. Probably going to look better if I put the c in front. So c times the square root of x minus 2 all over my denominator, which is x to the power of 6 times 4x minus 3. So going back to where I was up here in blue, if you really feel comfortable with it, you could go directly here. So the positives are going to be in the numerator spot, and anything with subtraction will go in the denominator part. So depending on your comfort level, you could kind of go directly from here to our answer right here. All right, I hope that helps, and if you got more of them, uh, feel free to send them.